I'm a first year teacher and it's the end of the year and a couple weeks ago I put on a wireless microphone and was videotaped all day in my preschool classroom in the morning session and the afternoon. When's your mama gonna have her baby? I wasn't sure why I agreed <laughs> and I think the thing that made me the most nervous was I was gonna be mic'd the whole day. Everything I said was gonna be heard by someone else. I was a nervous wreck for 20 minutes. But then once the kids got there, I felt more in my element. I was able just to relax and do my normal job I do every day. When I watched the video for the first time, I was alone in my house <laughs> and I was on my computer and I was like, okay, I took a deep breath, well, we can do this. And I clicked on the first one and a lot of great things happened and a lot of hard things happened. <laughs> Um, one of my kiddos for the first time came in and he looked at his schedule and then he went with me to wash his hands and he turned off the light and the water and then went straight to the table to sit down and eat breakfast and that normally doesn't happen. That was one of the moments where I was like, yes, something great was videotaped. <laughs> One of the things that I learned was that my voice is a lot higher than I expected it was. I had some people watch the tape to really tell me if that was really my voice, and it was. You think so? Have you ever seen a bear? Maybe. Did you went out hunting and you saw a bear inside the clouds. Isaiah went hunting and he saw a bear? Oh. Ryan, you are working so hard. When I was going through the tapes, I was thinking about gold. I'm like, oh, I could have documented that. I could have documented that. When I was doing my last checkpoint, I was like, I know I've seen this stuff, but how can I ever go back through a day and just document, document, document? And I think a great way would to videotape a whole day and then just go back through and be like, oh, that child showed empathy and that child used great expressive vocabulary. Reflecting back and taking a second look at some of these clips, it was amazing to see quite a long clip of, of drama that happened in all the different elements to the drama and how many kids were involved. I had an idea of having a race. Three. When we were racing, one little girl was coming with me and another little boy was coming towards her. And she swerved a couple times and he swerved right with her and they just collided. Hey, Bubba. When we're running and racing? Oh, At the time, I think the little boy was very angry that he did it. And the little girl was very hurt by the collision. And I really consoled her and tried to make her feel better. When re-watching it, I realized how many of the kids picked up on the empathy that I was showing to her and wanted to also show her the same empathy. And it was very, it was very touching to rewatch it. How are you feeling, Terrace? Good. That was a big crash. It was like the Olympics. How are you feeling? The little boy who collided into her he was upset at himself. I think he wants attention but doesn't know how to ask for it appropriately. And so I talked to him a lot about what we could do and how we could make her feel better and if we could go check on her. And eventually I got him to go over and check on her. Her leg got bonked into, but she's very brave. You're gonna go see it? Go make sure she's okay. Even some that didn't see it came up and were asking what's wrong. Sometimes I think we overlook the really small, touching things of bringing a child a dandelion or things like that. I chose to watch a few particular clips with my team because I felt we could all really learn from it. Um, being a new team, it's really great to just go back and look with an open mind because during the day there's so much going on and you're all so busy with every every child that it's nice to go back and sit and watch. And she is a nanny of two kids. I think video would be a great teaching opportunity between the parent and the teacher because as a teacher you model a lot of things and I think it would be really neat to go back and look at the film and say see how I did this. This is a great way you can go about this in the classroom. So I think I'd really like to do that, is to work with it, just one-on-one -on -one with your parent. Thank you. 
to be videotaped and mic'd all day it was one of the most important things I did my first year of teaching. I've learned a lot throughout the whole year, but it just really hit it home to rewatch the clips. And I really started looking at the tapes and I was just thinking I should have a thick skin and... But I found out I don't need to have a thick skin as much as I thought because I... I'm actually doing some stuff really well. <laughs> so it was really nice to see. I can do this. I did this. I changed little people's lives. It was... it was really neat. Do you see that something is, has a bite out of it? A mouse. A mouse? You want to make sure that you're being the best that you can be. And I think a great way to do it is to watch yourself on tape. And I think it's something every teacher should do and not even just do once, but do a couple times through the year. I would have loved to compare it to my first day and then to rewatch it at the end of the year and to really have seen myself grow would have been an amazing experience towards the end of your first year, even in the middle of the year, you kind of start to doubt yourself. Am I really good at this? Am I making a difference in these kids' lives? And to see myself, I felt like, okay, I can do this. To go back and look, I just realized this is what I want to do.